Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to my community show. <laughs> anyway, so, as I promised, today we're going to be doing the thumbnail tutorial. Yes, I know, I've actually had this requested of me, that's why I'm doing it, but also, in case there's anybody out there who wants to know how I do my thumbnails, things aren't too awful intrinsic. This is using the Filmora product, uh, program, product, <laughs> and also paint. So yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do first, very simple. We have our setup here. We're going to go into our files, go to our video section, pending edits, Family Game Night. Now this is from my main channel. That's what Family Game Night is. If you're not a subscriber over there, that's what it is. Now we're going to take ourself, now we have a video coming out there called the Three Marker Challenge, <clears throat> and that's what we're going to use this for. Now what I generally do when I'm choosing a thumbnail is literally just choosing. Watch. Click. Does that look funny? Nah. We want at least both of our faces. That's pretty funny looking. I like that one. We're going to go for this one. That's a good thumbnail. There's this button right here underneath the picture. Looks like a camera. Yeah, click it, and you got yourself a snapshot. All right, delete the file, and insert that in there. We now have that picture. So, we don't want just that picture, right? So what we do, now we open up Paint. Now, I'm gonna come out right now and tell you that there are many, many better products out there that'll get you what I'm doing with this. Photoshop is so much better, so much easier. It costs money though. <laughs> As such, I just use this. Now, when you open this up, you're gonna wanna go, shoot, documents. I'm showing you the long way around because I have it pinned directly to snapshot. Um, if you're gonna go, you go to documents, you go to Wondershare Filmora, you go to user source, you go to snapshot there's the picture you just took drag it in drop it into paint close that window out and voila now this every snapshot that you take in filmora is the perfect size for a thumbnail you don't have to worry about resizing it at all it makes it so much easier i tell you what all right so we got this and you generally you know my thumbnails they look a little bit different than that like i'll show you i think i have one put up somewhere Voila, like this one right here. That one's coming out on Friday, so or on Saturday, so you're gonna get a little sneak peek of the thumbnail. Um, but that's what my thumbnails look like. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so it's zoom out, zoom in a little bit, so it's easier to see. And then you go here, you click this button down here, select freeform selection. Now you can select the square, but then you're gonna have to cut stuff away. This is where Photoshop would be a lot more helpful. I'm just going to outline myself and the kiddo face there around the ear. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to go through and fix it up later. <laughs> Twitchy fingers. Now, if you ever wonder why my head kind of looks a little thinner or something, it's probably because I just messed up. Come on. Then you copy it, file, new, and then you paste. Bam. There you go. And we are going to flood it with red. I know that sounds weird because it's a green screen that we're going to be using, but I use red because more often than not, I don't have anything on that's going to blend in with it. But, like, she occasionally does. Like, she's wearing pink right now. That might throw it off a bit. But I can't use green because I'm using a green shirt. She's got green on her, green in the hat thing. But we're going to try it. Alright, so then we select the brushes. I like the brushes because it kind of blurs the edges a little bit. It doesn't make it look like a hard contrast when you throw it in on something. And then we go over here, and then we're just literally going over the outline of our picture. This part is so tedious, so 
so annoying. <laughs> Can't see this where I messed up my arm right there. <laughs> ah. No, apart from that, it doesn't look too bad. She looks like she's got a squid head, though. This isn't going to be a final thumbnail. This is just, you know, for the show. And fill in these little spots right here. Because they will show up. They will stand out. All right, that's good enough. So we're going to save that. We're going to save it over the snapshot we just used. Yes. And then we're not going to close it yet. All right, so here we go. Now we have snapshot zero is red. Nice, huh? All right, now we're going to go do something fun. We're making a thumbnail video for a thumbnail video. When it comes to searching for images, you have to be careful because some of them are copywritten and you don't want to accidentally use somebody else's stuff unless it's transformative in nature. No, an actual finger thumbnail. There we go. All right, so here's what you do. You don't want to end up using somebody else's stuff unless it is labeled for reuse. See right here where it says usage rights? You click that. All right, now this isn't filtered for license. So you can do, do label for reuse with modification, just label for reuse, label for non-commercial reuse. I usually just go reuse. Now we've got our thumb. Thumbnail, perfect, right? Save image as. Now, of course, the other option is you can just take a picture. <laughs> We're gonna drag our thumbnail over into videos, drag our thumbnail in here, drop it into the timeline, we're going to use this button right here, which is the crop and zoom button. And we're going to turn it back to 16 by 9. That's actually a very nice nail, I have to say. Judging by my nails, it would look horrible. Now, that's a big thumbnail, right? Then we're going to drag ourselves in here. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. We're going to use a green screen. So you double click on the picture which is put down here in the picture and picture, sorry, I'm I was supposed to say that. You put the, you put your original picture, snapshot zero, into picture and picture. Double click on it, click on advanced settings. Then you open up, you go to effect, where it says make parts of this clip transparent. That's what you're looking for. Click the box. It's, it's default is black, but you don't want it to be black. Because <laughs> more often than not, you're gonna find black in your pictures. So you just click, just a little eyedropper right on the red color. And then you you can change the intensity level. Yes, didn't change your shirt. Well, not too much, a little bit. A little bit of it turned invisible, but that's okay. And there you go. You are now on there. Let's drop it out of frame. Shrink the picture down. Et voila. Now, of course, that's just one part of it. Now, one thing I've actually recently discovered is kind of fun. You can go back to your advanced tools, you can go to your effects, and you can go to your borders. That adds cool borders to your pictures, see? And of course, you can make them bigger, you can blur the edges, and you can change the transparency. And then, of course, you can change the colors. You can change it to be pink, and red, uh, pink and black, and then you can change the gradient di direction. So it'll change, it'll fade to black on her side, fade to pink on my side, or you can just do, keep it white, and then transfer that. Or like I usually like to do, green. Green is my favorite color. Eh, it doesn't look good. So we're gonna change it back to pink. There we go. We now have our outline of our characters there. Characters, I say. Now, of course, you see how we have it set up like this. We have me on one side, her on the other. However, we don't want it like that. I know, sounds weird, but it's okay. I'm gonna walk you through this. I want her on one side, me on another, on either side of the board. So I'm gonna take my snapshot zero, and I'm gonna put it back down here in picture in picture two. Double click, advance, effect, make parts transparent, red, Loop. There we go. We're going to change the border to 
apply border, distance, blur it, pink it out. Okay. But now we have two of me on there. That's weird, right? Look, we got two of us on there. It's weird. What are we doing with this? It's so crazy. Well, we're going to go to advanced again. We're going to put this mask on there. And we're going to cut it in half. Yeah, perfect half. There we go. And then we're just going to floop it over. Huh? Then we're going to do the same to the other one. Right, give me you. Shrink you down. Now we have me. You can rotate the picture using this thing. Boink. Oh, I'm on my head. Or I'm lying on my back. Something like that. Anyway. All right. Now, of course, as you know, my, my how I set up my thumbnails with the title card in the bottom corner there means we don't want me there. We want me somewhere else. Because we know if we have me there, I'm going to be covered up. This is all becomes personal preference at this point. Okay, there we go. We have our two people in our picture. Words. Words are easy. Text credit. I have one bookmarked, which is the right roll. Doesn't really matter which one. I just bookmarked it because it had one of my favorite fonts in it, which is this one. I'm gonna drag it down here, put it on the timeline. Put it in the T for text. Double click it. Now, drop the uh, transparency, drop the animation, and you just have the basic words with the outline. Now, of course, like I said, this was for a three marker challenge. Now, that looks gross. Anybody who's ever seen a thumbnail knows that that looks gross. So, we're going to click this button right here, center it. Much better. However, we want color. Because just a white one, eh, that's lame. Right? Now, of course, you can resize it just like I showed you right there, just like with those guys. Any of these little squares, if you do this one, it resizes the whole thing. If you just do one on the side or one on the top, it stretches it. And of course, this one is what you use to rotate instead of, what, instead of the one that was in the middle. Well, where am I? Okay, there we go. All right, let's shrink it back a little bit. Now, Still looks a little plain, still looks a little simple, so we're gonna go to advanced. And uh, we're gonna go over here to outline, or border, sorry, my bad, border. We're gonna, we wanna get rid of the opacity, opacity of it. So drop it, or throw it all the way up to 100. So that the border no longer, is no longer see-through. Now, just like with the picture in picture, you can raise the size, you can blur it out. You can change the color. <laughs> Let's go green. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I like that. That actually looks really good. Let's see if we can get a different green in there. Uh, there we go. Oh, that is vibrant. There you go. Look at that. All right, once you are done with your overall layout of what you want to do, you just snapshot it. Boink. Okay, go away. Media. I guess I didn't double click it enough. There we go. Now are you done? Okay, good. Snapshot it again, because I failed that. I failed that one, I messed it up. <laughs> I failed that one. All right, there you go. We have all that, so delete what's on the timeline. Now, if you're subscribed to my other channel, you know I have various different colors I use over there. For Family Game Night, I use the gradient number two, which is this nice little, you know, green to darker. Throw that one down, then we take our snapshot, we drag it into the picture in picture, and then we resize it. So we got that. And then we're gonna take our sample colors and we're gonna go gradient two again. So this time we're gonna drag it down to picture in picture two. There you go. Double click that, advance. Now we're gonna add this, uh, um, the third one, what, the, the beveled edge mask to it. You're not going to see any effect right away. It's just going to look like a giant green screen. So you go up here, just like the picture-in-picture -picture stuff, because it is a picture-in-picture -picture stuff. You grab the corner, you drag it down. Gotta drag it down a little bit more because it's still a bit too big. 
There you go. Now, of course, this one looks gross because of the, the, the gradient. So I like to drop it a little below and a little off so that it looks a little cleaner. And of course, text. I have a bunch of custom made ones. If you want to custom make one, you just like take, drag your text down to the board bar, double click on it. Of course, you fiddle with the settings and whatnot. And then you click here where it says save as preset and it creates a favorite for you. Okay, go away. You go away. But of course, I have my own customs. I have my subtitle guy, my Steps Basic Gaming Community Show. Huh. Um, my Phil's family, this is the one I was going to use, and my Steps Basic Gaming. I'm going to drag Phil's family down into the timeline right on to the end there. It doesn't fit, it's wrong size. So then we take this, we drag it. No, no, you stupid. We take this and we drag it out a little bit. Boom, Phil's family. Except this isn't Phil's family. Well, I mean it is, but this is Family Game Night. So double click, edit words, family game nat exclamation point and there you have it that is the thumbnail i don't like this thumbnail <laughs> this thumbnail did not come out well i was just showing you the basics for it now what is wrong with this thumbnail too much empty space weird i know because there's a giant thumb in the back if you look at my other thumbnails you'll see that i have me and Potato Nana taking up a huge portion of the, the screen, plus the name of the video. Like I was showing you back here with this one, with this thumbnail, we're most of the screen. I don't like this little spot right here because it's empty. Then we have our title, and then we have our, uh, well, that's basically our whole title. And that's why I don't like this, because look at all this. We have this empty area right here, we have this empty area right here. Even though we have the giant thumb in the back, it's still empty because it's a single solid color. You kind of want, you don't want to be too busy when you're making it, but you don't want it to be, you know, boring. But anyway, there is our snapshot. There is our thumbnail. Like I always say, put your personal flair on them. Make your thumbnails how you want to be represented because that's essentially what these are doing. Okay, so, this is an interesting one I need to bring up. When I'm playing a game, when I'm making a gaming video, so say Human Fall Flat, right? I'm doing a gaming video on Human Fall Flat. That's pretty cool. So, I see a part, because we do the split screen, obviously. <laughs> we do the split screen on it, so let's look for something funny. Like here, look at this. We have the two of us standing side by side, and it looks like Potato Nana is pointing off in the distance. That's pretty cool, right? I like that. So I'm going to snapshot that and delete. Now, trashy, because it's still got both sides of the screen. That's not what we want. Crop, the crop button. I showed you earlier with the thumbnail. Click that, and you can crop it down to just the right size. Voila. Eh? Now, when you're doing stuff like this, you want to leave room over here. And like I'm doing with my other videos, with my thumbnails, if you're going to have your title, your thing like I do mine, leave that corner blank or empty because it's going to be filled up by your, your, your brand, as it were. You see how we got this? Well... Then I strongly recommend this for every title you're doing, for every game you're doing, have a title. Like I have all of these. I have Borderlands, Dungeons and Dragons, Final Fantasy, um, Fortnite, Friday the 13th, Happy Wheels. All of these are my titles. These are the games I'm playing. And right now we want the human fall flat. These are all available in PNG form and that's what you're looking for. You just go to Google, say Human Fall Flat Title PNG. That's what you're looking for because you will automatically have no background. You just drag it in, put it on the timeline, and bam. Now, of course, you can create your own PNGs if you have Photoshop. 
I don't have Photoshop. All I have is freaking paint. And maybe there is a way to do it in paint, but I don't know. But anyway, you drop it in there. You've got your human fall flat. Drag it up. And then, of course, just like with the regular pictures and everything, advanced, you can add a border to your picture. Change it to black. All the way black. And make it bigger. So it really pops against the background. And of course, this one is Human Fall Flat number six. I haven't even put five up yet, but <laughs> this is number six. So we're gonna take that, crank that down a little bit, tilt it a bit, drop it down a little, crap, there, drop it down a little bit more. Now I'm actually gonna use this thumbnail, by the way. Then you go into your text. Like I said, I got my favorites. Drop this down. You kind of want to match the uh, the text to the uh, the title as well as you can. Sometimes you can't because this one has a limited number of languages or fonts. In this case, I like Eager Naturalist because it really ma matches the Human Fall Flat title. But if you want like the one I use for um, Life is Strange. It's called Frederica the Great. I really like this one because look at it. That's pretty cool. Look, it looks like it's been sketched on there. And the one I use for most of my thumbnails is Dead Kansas. It's uh, essentially The Walking Dead. I like it. All right, so let's go back to Eager Natural. Not your Eager Naturalist. There we go. This is number six. Generally, I would recommend against using white as a color. Because, I mean, especially in a thumbnail like this where most of the picture is white, but also because it doesn't stand out. It doesn't really catch the eye. It just blends in. Things are a little bit better now that we have a... Uh, now that we have a dark theme for our YouTube pages, but for the most part, I don't recommend like that. And then, of course, oops, double click. But one color that seems to really be popular is yellow or slightly darker yellow. That seems to be popular, but in this case, like with Human Fall Flat, I'm gonna leave it white because it matches the title. Like I said, mostly I don't recommend it. But for this case, it's fine. Then, of course, snapshot. Thank you. Then, of course, my gaming video channel, Blue. You go away. My album. Drag you in here. All right. And add this one in here. Okay. Text credits. Custom. Steps Basic Gaming too small then I have my logo drag you in there you want it at the bottom so it will be the first it will be on the top layer and these are all according to layers like if I were to put um, human fall flat would be below the blue line or the picture I should say the main picture is below the blue tab and this will be above that so, advanced, we're gonna get rid of that green background. Boink. And then we're gonna drag you over here. Shrink you down. And voila. This is actually one I'm gonna use. Of course, I'm gonna have to come up with a title that matches it because that's kind of a little bit part of it too. All right, so that being said, if you delete want to make thumbnails with your face in them, make sure to get a good number of faces. Because I, I have several different faces of me and kiddo. <laughs> so make sure you have those. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, please go ahead and poke that like button for me if you'd like to. Of course, you can comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And tune in next time 
for something else. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about, but hey, it's going to be fun. And until then, good night.